show you how to upload a Minitab file using the web version of Minitab. So I will go ahead and share my screen here. So I am just going to maybe get over here, which I'm in my web browser. And I'm going to open up a new one and I will just go ahead into the mini tab. So it's app.minitab.com. So I get here, it's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my RIT account without the G. So KPG SMA at RIT.edu. And ask me to sign in here. So I'm signed in here. So once I'm in this section of my tab and I want to bring some data in from an existing file, I am going to just already know where the file is, first of all, but maybe I just downloaded it or maybe it's stored somewhere on my computer, but I will go to file, open. Now, once I'm in open here, I need to know if it's a project file or a worksheet file. So if it's a project file, it would have the file name and it would say dot mpx, the p would be project. If it's a worksheet file, then it would have the file name dot mwx. So if you look at the file, you will know which one it is before you get to the step. And I would suggest that. I try to save everything as a worksheet. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out. So I'm going to click on worksheet and then I'm just going to select local file, meaning I'm just going to search my computer and you could search whatever you want. So if you wanted to search like downloads, you can see them here. So maybe I am going to go in to like, I don't know, all these files in here. Maybe I'm going to study this tree data. I'm going to go ahead and select that and open. And it's going to ask me if I want it to save. I always just choose continue without autosave, but it's up to you what you choose. And you can see now my data has populated here in the spreadsheet portion.